Okay, I'm going to go through and do an example of value iteration, looking at the same little grid world we've already seen. Uh, so my face will disappear as I tilt this down so I can actually write on the screen. So we are looking at the exact same thing we looked at in class. Two terminal states, positive one at the top, negative one just below that. We want to go through and calculate out the different values, again, using value iteration. First one we're going to look at, 0.72. Important to remember that the previous value of the state, so value iteration is always working on what was the value at the previous k iteration. It's one step look ahead, so looking ahead, it has to use the current value. Current value, as far as we're going through this, would be at the previous iteration. Calculating this out, same thing we did in class. 0 0.9, so why 0 0.9? Uh, we've got the uh, discount factor. So we have noise in the environment, so 0 0.8, that we want to go this way, 80% chance, multiply that by 1, plus 10% chance we stay here, so 0.1 times 0, 10% chance we go down, plus 0.1 times 0. Uh, that gives us 0 0.8 times 0 0.9, gives us 0 0.72. So exactly what we looked at in class. Coming to the next slide, so keeping track of what the previous value was, 0 0.72, 0, and 0. Let's calculate out uh, 0 0.43 first. So when we go down and do that, 0.9, so same, uh, same value here for the discount factor. We probably want to go up. <clears throat> so uh, with probability of 0.8 times the old value, 0.72, plus 10% chance we go this way, 0.1 times negative 1 plus 10% chance we bump into the wall, stay where we are, working with the old value of 0, 0.1 times 0. Uh, when we multiply all this out, we get 0 0.43. We can come over and look at 0 0.52 then. So again, 0 0.9 times 0.8 that we want to go this way, working with that old value, plus it's going to be 0 and 0 for both of those. Multiply uh, those out, and we get 0.52. Calculating the 0 0.78. So this is what uh, the most common question was on. How do you go from 0 0.72 to 0 0.78? Uh, not complicated. So when we go through 0 0.9, and then still 80% chance we go this way. So 0 0.8 times 1 plus 10% chance we stay where we are. 0 0.1 times 0 0.72, working with that old value, plus 10% chance we go down, working with that old value of 0. Uh, that gives us 0 0.9 times 0 0.872, which gives us roughly 0 0.78. So I'll go through and calculate out the next iteration of just that value, just so you have it. So if we think what was the old value there, 0 0.78, uh, old value below that, 0 0.43, and 0 0.52, just since uh, we might need those. So 0.9, 80% chance we go this way, 10% chance we stay exactly where we are, and 10% chance we go down. We calculate that out, 0 0.9 times 0 0.921, which gives us roughly 0. 83. That's value iteration, uh, not overly complicated. Hopefully this makes sense.